Hello, so today we're looking at table practice. So I gave you just four instructions. Some of them are pretty small and some of them are bigger, like the formulas one. So we're going to make this look like this, more or less. It doesn't have to look exact. I mean, hopefully at this point we're, we're halfway through Word. You should know that it's not about the details so much. All right, so the first thing, this is a tab list, right? You see those tabs in there? So tab lists convert to tables really well. So I'm going to select the data, head over to the insert tab, and I am going to go table and convert text to table. You can see it's real. It knows exactly what's going on. Four columns. It's looking for tabs. I don't have to do a whole lot. Just press OK, and I'm halfway done. Now notice the entire table is selected. I just want to point something out, which isn't really part of the exercise, but it's teachable. So. These are just kind of unnecessarily large. It seems like the cell height is. And so if you want to mess around with your table, you've got all these tools here. And so you should be familiar with them. They're pretty self-explanatory. But notice if I spin the height down, like nothing happens, which is kind of weird. So what is going on? I and mean, if I go up, it gets bigger. So the problem is that these things, or every cell in my table actually has weird paragraph spacing. So I'm going to head over here and I'll show you the problem. I've mentioned that oftentimes if your document doesn't look like you want it to, it's oftentimes that you've got some weird spacing going on. And sure enough, there's 12 point before and after. I'm not sure why, but if you get rid of it, now it changed a few things, but now we are free to resize the uh, cells. And so sometimes people are trying to just mess around with their the cells in their table and and they won't move, and sometimes that's because of hidden properties like, like spacing. Now, all these things should be centered, right? And so notice, I haven't even got to... My instructions are here, and the set of things I'm doing is something else, just because I want to I get a little more into this lesson. But if you didn't do those things that I just did, that'd be fine. All right, insert a new row above the first row. That means insert above. And so this is going to be... Uh, what I want to merge these cells together, similar to what we do in Excel. And I'll say uh, cookie order sheet. All right. The next thing I want to do is the important part here is these formulas. So I want to do 2 times 499, I guess. You, in order to use formulas in a table, this is the hard part about this. The rest of it's been pretty straightforward. You've got to click on this formula button over here. And it says sum left. Is that what I want? No, it's not. So this is pretty painful. You actually have to act like you're in Excel world. So this cell would be A, B, 1, 2, 3. So I got to type B3 times. And you can't click and drag either. I mean, you can't do the point and click method. So it's going to be C3. This number formatting is very cryptic. Uh, there's only a few options here. If you want currency, that's the one you want. I click OK, and there we go. Let's do another one. So of course, some of above. Absolutely not. Uh, it is, this one's going to be B4 times C4. And I'm going to set it to currency. I click OK. Looks pretty good. Now I'm on to these grand totals. So I'm going to go formula, sum of above. Oh, hey, guess what? This time it's actually right. Nothing wrong with that. You could do the math if you want, but that is correct. And I don't really need to format it. And over here, let's try this. Sum of above. Hey, it's right. I do need to format it as a currency. I click OK, and I'm pretty much done. The last thing is just apply a quick style to your table. Quick styles live in here. I don't care what one you do. The one I did, I think I did that one. If you just apply a quick style, well, I'm probably going to be pretty happy with it. Uh, my alignments aren't what I wanted them to be, so let me, let me fix that. I wanted everything to be center-center in terms of alignment. So if you want to select your entire table, that's what this little thing represents. It's not very clear but if you click on it you just selected your entire table uh, so alignment when I mean center center see these nine different alignments that's center center so that's going to be centered vertically and horizontally and my example did look like that but I also do want to note that I didn't say anything about it in the instructions so that wouldn't be worth anything but just trying to get a little more into this because we're, we're right on the border of making this a little more thorough than than the exercise so let's go ahead and cover it and so that is the exercise. The hard part is the formulas.